Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see three important concepts in AWS. Control plane, data plane and static stability. If you are working as AWS solution architect or involved in any way to solution AWS infrastructure, knowing this concept is important to you so that you can build resilient architecture. So without further delay, let's get started. So control plane and data plane usually are terms related to networking, specifically routers basic functionality of router to move packets based on certain rules. So that is seen as data plane activity. But creating those rules, those network policies is a control plane activity. But how it is related to AWS? So any administrative API, be it create, delete, update, are seen as control plane. For example, creating EC2 instance, creating S3 bucket, deleting S3 bucket, describing bucket, or for that matter, any other service, creating function, lambda function, all these are control plane activities. But running EC2 instance, reading from S3, writing to S3, all these are data plane activities. Knowing this segregation is important when you are building architecture on AWS. And we'll see this more when we are talking about static stability. Let's understand this. Control plane statistically is more error prone because it is a complex workflow. When you are creating EC2 instance, you need to create like uh, ENI. You need to attach security group. You need to take care of credentials. You need to make sure you are successful in all those uh, tasks before EC2 instance is created. Control plane and data plane, both are equally important for the operations and performance of the service. But AWS keep this API separately and that's how the services will be uh, created. And we'll see that more when we are talking about static stability. Okay, I mentioned static stability more than once now. So what is static stability? Static stability is a design pattern wherein your system works well, even when its dependencies are impaired or even not available. So keep this understanding with you, but we'll see this in example so that you understand it better. Yeah, so we said static stability is when your system works well, even though its dependencies are not functioning well or those are not available. So let me take an example. So you have three AZs in your region, AZ1, AZ2 and AZ3. You created two EC2 instance in each AZ and your application for its normal function needs six instances at any given point of time. So what happens is AZ1 is down for any reason and you have only four instances. But as we talked about, we need six instances for norm normal operation. You will say, that's okay. Like even if AZ1 is down, I have AZ2 and AZ3, I can stood up more instances there and that will be it, right? And you're right with that. So you can create EC2 instances using auto scaling and that serves the purpose. But mind you that creating EC2 instance takes time as we saw, it is a control plane activity which involves a lot of uh, complex workflows or uh, dependent tasks. So chances of failure are more than. On top of that, it is a slow process. It takes time for getting your EC2 instance created. But your application, if need, six instances at all the time, then you have a better solution for it. So let's say, what is it? So again, you have three AZs, same like an initial scenario, but now instead of two EC2 instances in each AZ, you are uh, like setting up three instances. So total you are setting up nine. So there is a trade-off. You have a redundancy. When all the three AZs are working fine, you have a redundancy. Instead of six instances, you have nine instances running. But what happens when AZ1 goes down? Again, same scenario. But this time you have all the three instances or sorry, all the six instances and your application is functioning optimally. And that is what is static stability. You are not dealing with creating instances, which is a control plan activity. Instead, you are creating three instances in each AZ and making sure when AZ one goes down, you have six instances serving traffic. So this is, a, this is the example of static stability and dependency here we are talking about is availability zone. So AZ1 is down, still your 
system is working well and uh, i remember like exact same scenario or exact same question appeared in my associate exam aws solution architect associate where they were asking about like uh, you need uh, six instances i don't recall it was exact six instances but six instances or some number for uh, any time for your application to run and scenario was az1 goes down and how many instances you need to stood up in each of those az's that was a question i remember so yeah so this is important to know and this is a static stability and i will uh, like put links in the description so you can for your uh, more learning so you can just go through it and understand it better i want to just introduce to you this three concept control plane data plane and static stability hope you learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comment so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching